PA-22, previously known as ACIASAT-3 and then HGS-1, was a geosynchronous communications satellite, which was salvaged from an unusable geosynchronous transfer orbit by means of the Moon's gravity. Launch <laughs> 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 ASIASAT-3 was launched by ASIASAT Limited of Hong Kong to provide communications and television services in Asia by a proton booster on 24 December 1997, destined for an orbit slot at 105.5 degrees east however, a failure of the Block 3 German Mark's fourth stage left it stranded in a highly inclined 51 degrees and elliptical orbit, although still fully functional. It was declared a total loss by its insurers. The satellite was transferred to Hughes Global Services, Inc., which was then a subsidiary of Hughes Space and Communications Company, with an agreement to share any profits with the insurers. Edward Belbruno and Rex Ridener heard about the problem and proposed a three- to five-month low-energy transfer trajectory that would swing past the Moon and leave the satellite in geostationary orbit around the Earth. Hughes had no ability to track the satellite at such a distance and considered this trajectory concept unworkable. Instead, Hughes used an Apollo-style free return trajectory that required only a few days to complete, a trajectory designed and subsequently patented by Hughes chief technologist Jerry Salvatore. This maneuver removed only 40 degrees of orbital inclination and left the satellite in a geosynchronous orbit, whereas the Belbruno maneuver would have removed all 51 degrees of inclination and left it in geostationary orbit. Although Hughes did not end up using the low energy transfer trajectory, the insight to use a lunar swingby was key to the spacecraft rescue. According to Cesar Ocampo, Hughes had not considered this option until it was contacted by Ridener, although the Hughes engineers involved in the lunar flyby operations have stated that they were already working on the lunar swingby mission design before being contacted by him. <laughs> Rescue of satellite Using onboard propellant and lunar gravity, the orbit's apogee was gradually increased with several maneuvers at perigee until it flew by the Moon at a distance of 6,200 km from its surface in May 1998, becoming in a sense the first commercial lunar spacecraft. Another lunar flyby was performed later that month at a distance of 34,300 km to further improve the orbital inclination. These operations consumed most of the satellite's propellant, but still much less than it would take to remove the inclination without the Moon assist maneuvers. With the remaining fuel, the satellite could be controlled as a geosynchronous satellite, with half the life of a normal satellite, a huge gain, considering that it had been declared a total loss. The satellite was then maneuvered to geosynchronous orbit at 150–154 degrees west. Once the satellite was in a stable orbit, it was commanded to release its solar panels, which had been stowed during takeoff and maneuvering. Of the satellite's two solar panels, only one released, and it became apparent that a tether was not operating correctly on board, which engineers attributed to heating and cooling cycles due to the satellite operating outside its design range while traveling to its final orbit. In 1999, HGS-1 was acquired by Panamsat, renamed to PA-22, and moved to 60 degrees west it was deactivated in July 2002 and moved to a graveyard orbit. See also AMC-14 References Topic. External links Krebs, Gunter the 22nd of March 2013. ACSAT-3, 3S, HGS-1, PA-22. Gunter's Space Page. Retrieved May 14, 2013. Ridener, Rex the 13th of May 2013. Beyond Geo, Commercially, 15 Years, and Counting. The Space Review. Retrieved May 14, 2013. Salvatore, Jerry, the 15th of July 2013. The Chief Technologist's View of the HGS-1 Mission. The Space Review. Retrieved July 15, 2013. Skidmore, Mark, the 8th of July 2013. An Alternative View of the HGS-1 Salvage Mission. The Space Review. Retrieved July 8, 2013. ACSAT 3, Collection of Related Press Releases. Astronet. Retrieved May 14, 2013.
ACSAT 3 HGS 1 mission profile NASA the 19th of December 2011 retrieved May 14 2013